It's about that time. Today we're flying to San Francisco to head on over to Waymo. That brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Waymo. It's a new fully autonomous car company, never experienced before. We got access to the fully autonomous ride hailing service, it's Waymo One. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, Waymo was definitely sketch at first. I did not trust the fact that it was driving on its own and there was just no driver. I'm, you know, I'm used to it being a driver. That's just really weird to me. But after driving in it a little bit, we kind of noticed that it actually was almost better than a human would be in certain situations, just being able to almost just see everything around it, so many different sensors, so many different things that's on the car. It really became natural for me to kind of get into this car and it felt almost like I was safer with the Waymo than, you know, someone else. And now what really makes Waymo special is the fact that it's safe. Safety is a big concern when it comes to these autonomous hailing ride services. And in my opinion, these are like superheroes on the road. I feel like if there were more Waymo on the road, there would be even less accidents because they'd be able to detect each other. They'd be able to tell each other. I really do think autonomous driving is the future and Waymo is definitely putting that in the forefront. And so far, my experience with Waymo has been absolutely amazing. And Waymo's goal is to make transportation easier and safer for everyone. So they're not just making cool tech, but they're thinking about exactly how Waymo can fit into your daily life and community everywhere. Waymo's currently out in Phoenix, San Fran, and LA, and heading to Austin soon. But specifically, if you're in San Francisco, join the waitlist today and you'll get an email when you're onboarded. But with that, we're gonna need a few tech items. And specifically, we're gonna need to talk about the items that we bring on every single trip. Now, first we're flying in first class to head on over to San Francisco. And this is literally because the fact that I can't fit on anything else, I have to fly first class. And what I mean by that is that I'm actually 6'8", so I don't fit on anything else. Now, with having a long five hour flight from heading from Atlanta to San Francisco, we're gonna need something to pass the time. And this is where the first tech item comes in. body smart goggles that I got from Best Buy for $170. You can slip them on to help ease facial tension, relieve eye strain, decrease headache pain, and just calm your body and mind. Now, honestly, and originally putting these on, they kind of shock you at first just with the fact that they massage kind of like your face, but you get used to it. And honestly, it's one of the coolest things that I think has passed the time. It's super relaxing and it's definitely underrated. All right, so we just checked in right now and I'm not gonna lie, the city sucks. Now, if you look over here, you see an exact, like an actual who is who walk. So pretty much, we have the view of that. You know, it really makes me grateful for Vegas. I said Vegas didn't feel right. It felt like, you know, but now Vegas feels like home. And this feels like, you know, this feels terrible. But we're gonna find somewhere to eat. We're gonna use this this kind of like thing where it's a self-driving car. You guys will see what that is in a second. So we just got into the Waymo and um, as you can see, it's literally detecting whether it's a red light or if it's a green, that is crazy. So it pretty much, it's a self-driving car. We had it pull up and everything. We opened the door, we had to unlock it with the app. I mean, you can literally tell it to pull over. You can, you can wait, I can play music? Okay, wait a minute. Yo, let's get some stuff blasted. Oh my gosh, like look at it. There's no one right there. Like I promise you I'm not using my feet to, to drive the car. That is really driving us to some location where it sees the people. Oh, it slows down too. Word too. Oh, we're like celebrities too. Look at that. Everybody, no, oh, we're celebrities. This is kind of cool though. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I, I might feel safer with the Waymo here, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is really weird though. I don't know what to like, how to feel about this. Oh, it's, oh, it maneuvered this way around that car right there that was kind of in the way. This is cool. I'm, I'm like at the verge of, of being super scared and really, yo, I haven't seen streets like this. I've only seen streets like this on like in movies. This done happen. Stops at red lights fully. That's a perfect stop, man. I couldn't do it better than that. We don't really have too much to do today, but still trying to explore a little bit of, of San Fran and get a little good feel. And yeah. Hold up, we turn it? Hold up. Don't do a turn on me. If you're here, right, please down. make sure it's clear before exiting. Like Heading to Hyatt Regency.
Emergency San Francisco. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with the rider support agent. As you can see, this is the height comparison, man. I have to literally duck my head under this wall. That just shows, man. All the people saying I'm not 6'8 for real, this proves it. And once we arrived at the headquarters, I ended up meeting the Waymo product manager, who is Ahmed, and he's a really cool guy. Heading to Twissy Field. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. So what has, I've never had that, but I, I've seen it count down when you don't have your seatbelt on. Does yeah. it just shut down? No, what will happen is we will, wait, obviously we give you some buffer and then we'll right. have uh, someone will make call in. Oh, and, and they'll you tell you, to, yeah. Oh, okay. So has there ever been like a time where the car has crashed? And like, what happened? You know, obviously there've been some incidents where I think there was, in the, it made the news, uh, there was like a red light runner uh, and kind of ran into us. Uh, but yeah, I think the, the car, you know, has some sort of evasive maneuvers or like, sorry, not evasive maneuvers, but like once it does detect a collision, whether it's a pedestrian hitting it or whether it's a car tapping us, et cetera. Uh, and then we'll kind of enter a certain fallback state. Uh, we'll deploy, uh, you know, someone to come take a look at the car. Uh, we saw a couple police out. Okay. But what would the car do? Ability to detect when uh, emergency vehicles are around us. If that's the case, our car will kind of just pull over to the side and then let the let the emergency vehicle pass. So. Honestly, this has really spoiled me in a lot of ways, sure. you know, and I, I really don't want to have to go back to <laughs> just taking a regular Uber. I think when you thought, think about where we started, we started in 40 square miles of like a suburb of Phoenix. Oh, it's wow. like Chandler, so it's called Chandler. And so it's basically like a grid of 45 mile per hour roads and then a bunch of suburbs and shopping centers. So it's been through a lot of just just work over time and, uh, and testing. One way of testing is to take the car, drive it manually, like you or I driving it. Right. And then we can take that and then simulate what an autonomous car would do in that same situation. Obviously there's simulation, but then there's like structure testing. So we have a bunch of like tracks and loops that we can put the car in autonomously uh, and test things out, see what the car actually does. Yeah. There's probably tons of people that would probably want to want to yeah, try this for out. Sure, for sure. What do you think the goal is when making Waymo? Is it to reduce accidents? Is it to, I know this car is electric. Sure. Is is it to help with that? Yeah. Um, that problem with, with pollution or what was what's kind of like the goal? I think a lot of it stems from that safety. Like a lot of the mission for, for Waymo is, yes, for both the people inside the car as well as the people outside the car, right? Whether it's pedestrians, cyclists, uh, other vehicles, um, just trying to create a safer environment or safer world for getting people to their destinations. Sure, it's granted that I didn't get the best first impression about San Francisco just because it's definitely so different from the East Coast from what I'm used to in Atlanta. And I mean, literally talking about from the architecture to how buildings are made to how much San Fran felt like an industrial city, it just all felt really new to me. And it was something that I'd never experienced before. It really became natural for me to kind of get into this car. And it felt almost like I was safer with the way mode than, you know, someone else. And a big part also I feel is because there's no emotions involved, you know, there's not someone that's trying to rush to the destination. There's not someone who's, you know, maybe had a bad day and maybe driving more aggressively, but the Waymo, it'll always take you there. It'll be safe. It'll make sure it gets you there on time and it'll just do what it does and which is drive on its own. So a little bit later, I wanted to get something perfect for my MacBook. And this leads into the second item that we really use on our day-to-day -day life because I'm kind of raw dogging it with my MacBook right now. And I honestly, 
definitely am. I was told I need a case, so I definitely am going to try and find one while I'm in San Fran. Why not? But after a ton of searching, we finally get someone to help us and we find a case. And honestly, the guy who helped us was he was a little bit mean. You know, I think he could have been nicer. I think he was having a bad day, but, you know, I didn't take it too personally, even though I kind of did. But that was pretty cool. But anyways, once we got back to the hotel room, I pretty much decided to edit some videos and try and grind out some content. I think a lot of people don't understand how much I actually spend on my MacBook or laptop or just computer in general. When it comes to content creation, I spend majority of my time behind the screen. And I think a lot of people think that, you know, you're spending a lot of your time just having fun, just recording videos and you are, but anytime you really don't see me or these videos, I'm most likely editing. I'm most likely behind the screen. I'm most likely trying to write scripts or figuring out some type of things when it comes to content. So it is a long process. Um, I do pretty much everything. So I decided to just grind out some content, grind out some videos while I was here. And this is exactly why I want to bring my MacBook everywhere. And of course I got the M3 MacBook, which is the new MacBook that came out. I have the M3 MacBook Pro. And it honestly is a huge upgrade from my previous M2 MacBook Pro. There hasn't been a better performance upgrade since the first MacBook when it comes to just how much you can do with this MacBook, whether it's gaming, whether it's multitasking. I wouldn't suggest you game on this, but you know, I'd suggest you multitask on this for sure. Can definitely edit. One of the best things um, about it is the editing process. That's what I would say. And this is exactly why I bring it on the go with me anywhere. But aside from that, that's pretty much the end of this video. I appreciate you guys kind of watching me go through San Francisco for the first time. And of course, this wasn't an exactly full put together video. I think that I definitely have a lot of work to do when it comes to creating content, when it comes to my YouTube side, my long form side. So just bear with me. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like, share it to your friend of you, enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and leave some comments about what you guys want to see. And also make sure to spam T6 fam in the comments as well. You already know the drill. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm out.